this episode of Amigurumi Crochet Tutorials, we are going to make Jack Skellington. The materials you're going to need are black acrylic worsted weight yarn, white acrylic worsted weight yarn, some white pearl cotton, black and white pipe cleaners, some black felt, a tapestry needle, a 3.75 millimeter F5 crochet hook, a C2 2.75 millimeter crochet hook, and polyfiber fill stuffing. You will also need black and white sewing thread and a small white button. The head and body of Jack Skellington is worked in one piece. Round one, starting with the white yarn and making a magic circle, you're going to do six single crochets in the loop. One, two, three, and six. Close up the hole. Round two, two single crochets in each single crochet around for 12 single crochets at the end of round two. One, two, three, four, 11, and 12. Round three, one single crochet in the next single crochet, then two single crochets in the next single crochet around for 18 single crochets at the end of round three. One, two, three, four, seventeen, and eighteen. Round four. Single crochet in the next two single crochets. Then two single crochets in the next single crochet around for twenty-four single crochets at the end of round four. One, two, three, four, and twenty-four. Round five. Single crochet in the next three single crochets and then two single crochets in the next single crochet around for 30 single crochets at the end of round five. One, two, three, four, 29, and 30. Round six. Single crochet in the next four single crochets then two single crochets in the next single crochet around for 36 single crochets at the end of round six. One, two, three, four, 35, and 36. Round seven. Single crochet in the next five single crochets, then two single crochets in the next single crochet around for 42 single crochets at the end of round seven. One, two, three, 41, and 42. Rounds 8 through 18, you are going to single crochet in each single crochet around for 11 rounds. There will be 42 single crochets at the end of round 18. Round 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 41, and 42. Round 19. Single crochet in the next 5 single crochets and then decrease the next two single crochets together around for 36 single crochets at the end of round 19. One, two, three, four, and 36. Round 20. Single crochet in the next two single crochets and then decrease the next two single crochets together around for 30 single crochets at the end of round 20. One, two, three, four, and 30. Round 21. Single crochet in the next single crochet. Then decrease the next two single crochets together around for 18 single crochets at the end of round 21. One, two, three, four, and eight. Round 22. Single crochet in the next single crochet. Then decrease the next two together around for 12 single crochets at the end of round 22. One, two, three, four, and twelve. Okay, we're gonna stop right here, and you can put a, a stitch marker on your stitch if you like, and we're gonna stuff the head. Begin stuffing the head. You can use polyfiber fill stuffing to stuff the head. And uh, stuff the head as firmly or as softly as you like. I like to stuff firmly myself. Once you have the head all stuffed, we're going to continue on with round 23. And on round 23, we're going to single crochet in the next two single crochets and then decrease the next two together around for nine single crochets at the end of round 23. One, two, three, 
and 9. Rounds 24 through 29, we're going to single crochet in each single crochet round for 6 rounds. There will be 9 single crochets at the end of round 29. Round 29, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 9. There he is, the beginning of his head and his neck. And in round 30, it says 2 single crochets in each single crochet around for 18 single crochets at the end of round 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 17, and 18. You're going to put a stitch marker here if you desire. And now we are going to get the pipe cleaners and we are going to put the pipe cleaner into the neck to keep stability in his neck so he won't have a floppy head. So we're going to take four white pipe cleaners we're going to fold them in half and we're going to twist them into a nice tight twist to make them all one piece to about right here. And now we're going to take this piece of twisted uh, pipe cleaner and we're going to shove it into the neck hole as deep as we can and try to get it into the stuffing so we have a nice head and neck that's not too wobbly. There's his neck stabilized. Round 31. Single crochet in each single crochet around for 18 single crochets at the end of round 31. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 18. Round 32. Single crochet in the next two single crochets, then two single crochets in the next around for 24 single crochets at the end of round 32. 1, 2, 3, 4, 23, and 24. Round 33. Single crochet in each single crochet around for 24 single crochets at the end of round 33. 1, 2, 3, 4, 23, and 24. Round 34. Single crochet in the next 11 single crochets and then 2 single crochets in the next twice for 26 single crochets at the end of round 34. 1, 2, 3, 4, 25, and 26. In rounds 35 through 39, you're going to single crochet in each single crochet around for 5 rounds. There will be 26 single crochets at the end of round 39. Round 39. 1, 2, 3, 4, 25, and 26. Round 40. Decrease the next two single crochets together. Single crochet in the next 11 single crochets twice for 24 single crochets at the end of round 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 23, and 24. Round 41. Decrease the next two single crochets together. Single crochet in the next 10 single crochets twice for 22 single crochets at the end of round 41. 1, 2, 3, 4, 21, and 22. For round 42, you're going to join with black yarn. Once the black yarn is joined, you're going to slip stitch around for 22 slip stitches at the end of round 42. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 22. Rounds 43 through 47, single crochet in each single crochet around for 5 rounds. There will be 22 single crochets at the end of round 47. For round 43, you are going to begin your single crochets in the white part. So you're going to totally bypass this black slip stitches and you're just going to go into these white stitches like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 22. 44 through 47. Single crochet in each single crochet around. Round 47. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 22. After round 47 is complete, we are going to begin stuffing the body. As you're stuffing the body, be sure to keep your pipe cleaners centered around the stuffing, stuff around it as best you can. Round 48. You're going to single crochet in the next two single crochets and then decrease the next two single crochets together until there are 12 single crochets left at the end of round 48. 
then you will fasten off. You will stuff the body the rest of the way. Once you have it fully stuffed, we are going to close the hole. So taking your tapestry needle, you're going to thread the end of your long tail that you cut off. And we're going to close the hole like this. Now we're going to weave our remaining end up to about where the black meets the white and we're going to cut it just like that and there we go the first part of Jack's body now we're going to make his face we're going to cut out two ovals out of black belt making sure that the join of the two colors is in the back of the body. We're going to decide where we're going to put his eyes. So there's eye number one and I'm going to put eye number two about like that. So I'm going to have one eye slightly lower than the other. Now we're going to take our black thread and our sewing needle and we're going to sew the patches on his face, his eye patches on, and we're going to do it with a blanket stitch. And we anchor the blanket stitch on by going through the back of the work, back of the little patch, and then back up this way and around the needle and pull the needle through the thread. Try not to get a knot, a long, long thread. And that's how I got my blanket stitch anchored. And then we're just gonna go around the whole oval, taking the string over the needle and pulling it up like that all the way around. Now we're going to attach the other eye, doing the same thing we did with the first one. A blanket stitch all the way around. And there we go, both eyes are attached. Now it's time to make his nostrils and his mouth. We're gonna take a long piece of black yarn and we're gonna thread it with a tapestry needle. We're gonna start with each nostril. And we're just gonna go like this into the crochet work and hide the little knot. And there's the first nostril. Then we're gonna go back up here to here. And to about right there, we're gonna make the second nostril. Now we're going to thread back through to right there. Let's make it a little wider of a mouth. Let's go to here. And we're going to go all the way to here and we're going to begin making the stitches of his, of his smile. And you can make the stitches as straight or as crooked as you want. All the way across that one strip that we made. And there's his face. And you can uh, use your own creativity with the face. You can give him any expression you want just by being creative with the yarn and making his mouth in any shape that you want. You can go on to the internet and Google pictures of Jack Skellington and view his different expressions to get an idea of how you would like his face to look.